This tutorial will show how to create and manipulate range elements using the plot item range in FLAC 3D7. A range comprises one or more range elements and when applied to a plot item will show the portion of that plot item that lies within the range's definition while removing from view that which lies outside it. The model we'll be using is of a curved tunnel underground. We can access the plot item range by going to the drop down arrow for the zone group plot and selecting range. Right click on it and select add range element. There are two kinds of range elements, visual and property based. Visual range elements use various shapes and position in space to view the model. Property-based range elements view the model based on model properties such as defined groups and constitutive models used. Select the group range element. This will allow us to visualize predefined and user-defined groups in various ways. Notice that NOT is currently selected in the attributes table to the right. This is a Boolean operator and since no groups are selected, all of the groups are visible in the plot. As groups are selected, they will disappear from the plot. Uncheck NOT to change the plot such that the selected groups are the visible ones, with the rest being invisible. The slot attribute can be changed to show the different predefined and user defined groupings that were created for the model. Go to the range and add the position Z range element. This will allow us to select how much of the model we wish to view along the Z axis. Uncheck NOT and then go to the range and change Render Mode to Normal. When Specific is selected for the Render Mode attribute, the plot is rendered in a range-specific way. When Normal is selected, the plot is rendered normally. Drag the top Position Z plane down to the tunnel. To see inside the tunnel, go to the group range element and turn off the tunnel group. When multiple range elements are added to the range, the plot can either be viewed as an intersection or a union of the range elements. This is controlled by the type attribute at the right. Now go to the second plot and add the geometry distance range element to the range. The geometry distance range element allows you to view the plot a set distance away from imported geometry. For this model, the imported geometry is the curved tunnel within the block. Check Just Curvy Tunnel, uncheck Not, and set Distance to 5. Then go to the range and change the render mode to normal. This is useful for seeing the zones near the tunnel. Range elements can be copied from one plot item to another by right-clicking on the range element and selecting Copy, 
and then right clicking on a different range and selecting paste. Since intersection is still selected for type, the intersection of all three range elements in the first plot is taken for the view. The entire range configuration can be saved by going to the range and selecting the ellipsis next to save. This can then be loaded in any plot item by going to its range and selecting the ellipsis next to load. Let's load this range configuration into the second plot. Although only a few range elements were shown, there are many others that can be used to view the model in different ways. For example, sphere can be used to view a sphere of defined radius in the model. This concludes the plot item range tutorial.